Welcome, welcome to We Repair Stuff. Uh, today we are doing a screen replacement on the Acer Aspire ES1. Um, it's a really, really straightforward screen replace to do. Uh, it takes probably mo no more than about five or six minutes to, to actually remove the screen and pop a new one in. Um, in terms of tools, you just need something like a plectrum or a spudger or something to um, to release the screen and just a, a Phillips screwdriver, a small, small Phillips screwdriver. So first thing we do, uh, we work our way around the top of the screen um, and down the sides. Um, you will need to, as you get to the end of it, fold the screen back. So something pointy, just to get you started. And once you're started, you'll be able to just slowly work your way around, along and the clips will pop open with real ease. And just take it carefully though because the the plastic can snap and that will cost you so fold the screen back and then it will pop out on the hinges as well okay and as you can see um, this machine has been stood on hence it's um, quite badly smashed so next thing we do um, there's four fillet screws one in each corner of this screen um, just undo each of them in turn uh, working your way round, um, and that will release the screen so you can just drop it forward and disconnect it Normally, I would advise you to remove the battery on this as well, um, but this one is a, a sealed unit, so you actually can't take the battery out the bottom of it um, in, in order to, to go further forward and, uh, and safely strip out the screen. So you just have to be careful. As long as it's turned off, you'll be fine. So once the four corner screws are removed, just tilt the screen forward, um, and it will just literally pull out something else holding it in. There's one small pop connector at the bottom of the screen. Um, it's taped in place, so you need to just carefully peel the tape up and then um, pull it very carefully down away from the screen um, and it will just come free. Keep the tape on the connector because you will reuse it to hold the connector back in place. So again, straight down, bit of a wiggle and it will come out. Okay, and then we just reverse the process for our new screen. So lie it flat on the keyboard um, just while we pop it in place. You might need to leave it up at a bit of an angle just so you've got enough, um, enough wiggle room on the cable. Carefully slide the cable back down into the screen, uh, making sure it's firmly pulled all the way in. There's no gap between the bracket and the, um, the cable itself, and then just tape it back down. And then fold the screen back up onto the, the frame of the laptop, being careful of the cable again. Um, at the bottom of the screen, making sure it's clipped in all the little sort of clippy bits that you can you can hold it in place with. And next thing we do, um, after we've clipped that cable back in, we then um, pop the four screws back in all the way around the screen. I have just turned it on for test purposes. Um, I would generally always advise you to to test it once you've popped it back in, just to before you screw it all back together and, and pop the lid, the, the plastics back on. Okay, now that's all back in place. Next thing we do is just peel the protective cover off the screen. Um, always do that before you put the plastics on, otherwise the plastics will get in the way um, and you won't be able to clip it into place. So lean the screen lid right back um, and then you will need to, uh, to clip the bottom hinges back in place first. And then literally work your way all the way around the outside of the screen. You'll feel it sort of click down at each point you will need to go around a couple of times um, just to make sure it's firmly clicked down all the way around, all the way along the bottom as well. 
So just do it a couple of times and it will clip in all the way around. If you see any gaps or anything, um, then just um, push down firmly and it will clip in. Next thing we do is we just do the hinges from behind um, on either side. And again, they will just click into place. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.